Hi everyone, uh, my name is Wilson Page. I'm going to show you quickly today how to set up an Amazon EC2 instance uh, because I spent the last week just going into all this stuff which I've never been to before and I thought it would be quite good to share it all. So here we go. Yeah, so I'm here in my AWS console at the moment. Um, I'm in the region EU West because it's the nearest one to me. Uh, here is an old, an old instance I set up couple of days ago but I'm going to set up a brand new one to show you how to do it. <coughs> so we're going to go launch instance, um, launch classic instance wizard um, and here you can see there's some Amazon pre-configured instances um, they're kind of known as AMIs which is the identifier of the image of the instance which is kind of like the configuration so you can see here there's a couple of different ones. Um, I want to set up an Ubuntu image uh, so I'm going to go to Community AMIs. Uh, this is kind of images, server images that people have shared. Um, but there's a whole load of them. Uh, they're just loading at the moment. And I don't know which one to pick, but there's this site called alestic.com. Um, and they've got a whole load of images that are, they're just kind of off, they're just supposed to be good images basically for EC2. So uh, I'm gonna, this is what I've done before. I've hit, uh, I hit EU West. I'm going to pick the Ubuntu Lucid Linux version because I've been told it's good, stable, whatever. Um, so here we go. We're going to go for it. There's a 32 bit or a 64 bit. I'm going to pick the 32 bit version. Um, so it's going to bring up this in AWS. Okay, so here we go. It's trying to launch a new instance. Um, I'm just going to grab the manifest. URL kind of identifier thing, so that's what that's what identifies this particular image. Um, <coughs> copy that. I'm just going to close this window down and go back into my AWS console. So here's the community AMI. So if I paste this identifier into there, you'll see this image pops up here, and that's the one that uh, Elastic was referring to. So I'm just going to grab that, select that Ubuntu image. Don't know what any of this stuff. Is. I'm going to keep it on a micro instance because that's on the free tier. Of AWS, so that's cool. Uh, number is this one, blah, blah blah. Don't really know what that means, doesn't matter. Let's go. Um, this is all stuff. I don't know. We're just going to stay with the defaults on these settings. Um, name, this is just kind of a nice little way that you can name your instance so you can, it, when it's in the list in AWS, you can go back to it and see what it is. So I'm just going to call it uh, my new instance. Um, you can add other other little tags if you want to it, but names enough. Um, now this is the part key pair. Now the key pair is uh, it's a it's a key file that's generated, and you need this file to be able to SSH into the server, which means um, being able to control the server from a remote location. So I've got a few key. Oh, I've got one key pair set up here that I've used before, but I'm just going to create a new key pair to show you how to do it. So I'm just going to call it my new key. Um, I'm going to create and download my key pair. <coughs> Should download. There we go. Okay. So my new key is there. Um, so I'll come back to that later. But we've got that stored. You can only get it at that one point when you start the instance. So it's important to remember it. Um, we've got security groups here now. Uh, Amazon just comes with a default security group, so uh, security groups kind of is a setting that you assign to an instance that will tell, will, will say which ports on the instance should be open, who should be able to access those ports, um, but we'll come to that later. So I'm just going to hit the default one, continue, okay here are the settings, launch it, so it's launching now, okay my instance is now launching, so now we can see it's popping up here, it's pending. Okay, so now we can see my new instance here is up and running. Uh, running here, initializing, we can refresh, keep seeing if it's okay. But while it's initializing, what we need to get into this uh, this instance, control it, get into the SSH and do all that installation of stuff we need, is I'm on, Lin I'm on uh, Windows, so I need PuTTY to SSH into that. Uh, if you're on um, if you're on a Mac, you can use the, the, the terminal, I think has an SSH function that you can 
get into and I think it's a lot nicer than this but uh, on Windows we're going to use PuTTY a nice old tool uh, so you can download that just Google PuTTY get the PuTTY uh, name PuTTY then so here is our really overly complicated configuration thing but we're only concerned with the host here this uh, host name here is the it's the host of our host address of our instance and down here is the authorization of our instance this is where our key pair comes into comes into play okay so if we go back to here host name so uh, the identifier that we the address that we use to get into this is let's see if it's ready to come on oh, cool it's done okay so see we state check tick 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 nice okay public DNS, so this is the address we can publicly access this instance with. Okay, so I'm going to paste in this public address here into the host, and then here in the authorization, I'm going to browse and find that key that I um, downloaded. Uh, so my new key is what I called it. But the thing is, Putty wants it in a .ppk format, and we have it in a .pem format uh, that EC2 gave us. So that's yeah, it's a bit annoying because we're on Windows. Uh, we're gonna have to convert that to a PEM file. Okay, not a big issue. We'll go to Put. We get this tool called Putty Gen. Um, it's made by Putty and it is used to generate Putty PPK key pair files. Um, so open that up. You can get this off the, the Putty site. It's like a tiny little executable. Um, so I'm gonna load in my Amazon key. Um, for me it's in my download folder new key so I open up that successfully imported foreign key uh, and then I'm simply going to save the private key I don't need a passphrase and I'm going to save it as my new key um, and it's saving it as a ppk file which is exactly what Putty needs um, so cool how's that saved Let's have a look. Uh, my new key dot ppk ok so we're going to use that <coughs> Let's go back to uh, yeah okay so we're gonna we're back in the party configuration window. There we have my new key that I just generated. Open. Let's see what happens. Okay, we get this weird warning. Um, it just happens once the first time you SSH into your server. We're just gonna go yes to that. Log in. It's an Ubuntu image. Um, so by default, the username is Ubuntu. Go. That in, blah, blah, blah. Sweet. Now we're in our instance. Uh, we are now in the command line um, of our brand new EC2 instance. Now, yeah, I got inside my instance, but there was one important thing that I did beforehand that I didn't tell you about. So let me quickly go back to the AWS console and show you a very small change that needs to be done. Okay, so remember when we set up my new instance, we chose a security group. Um, the security group here is default. Now if we go to the left hand column and click on security groups we can see this default configuration is set up here. Um, so if we highlight that um, and have a look in inbound this is kind of your settings for what was what, what, uh, what uh, IPs are allowed to access this instance and what ports you're going to open up uh, to this to allow access now by default if you've just set this up and you, this is a brand new AWS account you'll see that um, you have this all thing, this um, 0 to 665, these three I'm not really sure, they're a bit useless to be honest because um, your ports are still all blocked from the outside so if, um, if I hadn't added this particular part here, 22 SSH, so I've opened up this port 22 I wouldn't have been able to SSH into it because SSH uses port 22 of your server. Uh, don't ask why it's port 22, it just is. It's SSH port dedicated, whatever. So that's always 22. If that is not open um, on your security group for that instance, you won't be allowed in. It just, it just won't work. Um, so I'll, I'll show you just quickly how to add port 22 to your group. So 
Uh, let's just delete all these. I'm not really sure what they do. I'll probably find out one day and be like, damn, I shouldn't delete them, but whatever. So now we've got no nothing set up. No, there's no way of accessing this instance. No ports or open or anything. So uh, what I want to do is add a new rule. Um, if I go SSH here, um, source zero zero. So all these zeros mean that this can be accessed from any any IP, any IP, any anyone, any computer can access this SSH port twenty two um, and get in. Um, Obviously, you'll need the key pair, which no one will have apart from you. So don't worry about people being able to access your uh, your instance uh, without you knowing. Okay, so we're just going to quickly go add root. Now you can see port 22 uh, is set up there. Source, so you can do you can access this port from any source, um, and it's there. We just have to go apply rule changes, and you'll see it turns from blue to white. So that's cool. So now port 22 is set up. Um, I'm going to try and SSH back into this box again. I'm just going to close this party window. We'll try doing the thing again. Um, actually, maybe it'd be best if I show you what it's like without this on. So I'll just quickly delete this, apply changes. Okay, now I'm going to try and access it without this port on, and you'll see what happens. Okay, so we'll go back into here. I've got to go back to instances, get that bloody public DNS address. So, this is the address of your instance. Let's go here, whack that in there, go into this off. Browse, get my new key. Okay, open it, see what happens. Tick, tick, tick. I don't think it's going to work. It's probably just going to go time out. Nothing. It's just not going to allow it. We'll see, we'll wait. Let's try. There we go. Okay, so it says network error, connection timed out, so it didn't work. Damn, so that's what you would have got if you hadn't done this. So now we're going to go into here. Our default security group is what is assigned to my new instance. Um, this time I'm just going to add port 22, uh, all add rule. So that's exactly the same as doing, that's just a, it's just a shortcut of doing SSH down there, but port 22, it knows it's the SSH port. Okay, we're going to apply rule changes and then we're going to try and do this again. Okay, putty, uh, let's paste it on that. Or Go find my new key. Open. Ah, now we can get in. Log in as Ubuntu. Cheers. Okay, and there we are. We're in it. Um, so that is an example of ports and security groups. Uh, I should have gone over that beforehand, but there we go. Okay, so yeah, here we are in our instance. I'm not going to go into any more detail about it, but this is a fresh Ubuntu instance, and I'm going to do some more videos on what else you can do with this, especially with Node and Mongo. Okay, cheers.